The following program contains mature subject matter and coarse language. If listening to this episode with a young person is an option, please ensure a mature adult is present who can foster a healthy discussion about these issues following the episode. Audience discretion is strongly advised. Diana? Um, yes? I'm Officer Jenkins. Hello. So I hear you're having some computer issues. Yeah. Uh, Officer Jenkins, would you like some coffee? Uh, yes, thank you. Black, please. Let's start from the beginning. What site do you think the virus came from? Diana, you're not in trouble, but I need you to tell me about what's been happening. Go on. Tell the cop what happened. Um, it started when I was looking at nude sites. Nude sites? Oh, porn. Why, when I was 14, I hadn't seen a Playboy yet. What's a Playboy? (laughs) Shows how out of touch you are. Uh, Most porn sites require their members to be 18 years old, right? Oh, officer, don't you know? No one these days lets things like age stop them from doing anything. Uh, Oh, do they? Yes, and I think you knew that. Someone's been a naughty girl. I'm sorry. Does your mother know? Huh? No, of course not. She'd kill me if she found out. Then I think you'll have to kill the cop to keep your secret. we can come to an understanding. An understanding? If you stay off those sites, I'll keep the fact that you were on them a secret from your mom. Hey, don't say yes, babe. You love looking at that stuff online. Um, all right. Am I in trouble? Yes. Don't worry. You're not the first teen who's looked at that stuff online. Just stay away from porn online from now on. Thank you. You actually believe she's going to keep her word? No wonder people say cops are dumb. So, you were looking at porn, and then? I must have done something I wasn't supposed to. (laughs) Oh, that. Did you download any? Huh? No, of course not. I'm not dumb. That's just way too risky. At least not as dumb as Officer Jenkins here. Did you do anything else? No, wait. There was this ad I clicked on. Go on. It was a sale on a CD from an artist I liked, Saba. Like, a discount code for an online CD store. I like collecting CDs. Only when I clicked on it... It was a fake ad, I assume. Yeah. It took me to another site and a bunch of things popped up. It must have downloaded the virus then. I feel so stupid. Don't Don't be. be. We wouldn't have met otherwise. I've had the same thing happen to me. All the other girls at school were looking at it, and I wanted to fit in. Maybe you can introduce me. All I need are your contacts. I'm sure there are better ways to fit in with those other girls. Yeah. And maybe they aren't the best choice for friends. Maybe I wouldn't have gotten a virus on my laptop if I wasn't looking at porn. Of that, I'm not as certain. Huh? But this all happened because I went online to find those sites, right? No, it happened because you clicked on an ad. Those ads pop up everywhere, not just porn sites. Oh. So me looking at nude sites had nothing to do with getting infected? Well, technically, you being online was responsible, but you looking at porn was not specifically the cause. It could have just as easily been social media. Oh, that's scary. Here's your coffee. Any progress? Diana here just learned a valuable lesson. And what's that? Don't click on the ads online. She clicked on one while browsing her social media account. Thank you for the lesson in online safety. You know, I think I need some popcorn. Now, Diana, please tell me what happened next. The first time I knew something was wrong was when I got an email. Do you still have it? Of course. The online help page suggested keeping it for evidence. Here it goes. Just like love letters. Oh, that's you. I was just changing. I wasn't... I didn't take it. There wasn't anyone else in the room with you? No, but the picture. It was taken from where the computer was sitting. Open over there. How did the photo get on your computer? Such a good artist. Was the computer hacked? I think so. 
That's the only way it makes sense. But you didn't notice the camera light being on. There are types of malware that would let an individual access the camera of someone else's computer. In such cases, the camera light usually gets disabled. Really? That's horrific. Well, unless Diana sent her ransomer that photo, her interpretation seems like the most likely situation. I didn't send him anything. You can check my email. You sure? Why would I send him nudes of myself to blackmail me with? Don't worry, I get it. I would say we work with the assumption that Diana has that type of malware on her computer. That sound good? Yes. Could he be watching us right now? Hello. You took long enough. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Funny how Diana's mom figured it out before you did. Should I close? Don't do it, Diana. Be a good girl. We still need some info from it for our investigation, so not yet. Looks like I'm here to stay. Okay. Do you mind if I read the email? No, go right ahead. Hi, I betting you don't hear how beautiful you are that often enough. I sure think so. Why don't you take a look? Then there's that photo. Not my best work. Personally, I think everyone should know just how beautiful you are. So if you don't want me to, send this pic and all the other to everyone on your contact list and maybe upload it online. Just send me a small deposit on pay money now. Nothing much, just 1400 grand dollars. Now I normally get two grand, but for a petty little thing like you, it'd be willing to give you a discount. I'll give you three days. Oh, and done. go to the police. I don't think I need to tell you what will happen. See? I'm a nice guy. Giving a pretty young girl a discount. Did I mess up? Hmm. Going to the police. Oh, yes. But don't worry. I'm a nice guy. No, you did the right thing. As long as you didn't pay for it. Oh. Will we be able to get our money back? I'm sorry. Even if you report it, they won't be able to simply get it back. I thought he was going to send that photo out to everyone. I still could. I have your contact list, babe. Maybe you could introduce me to some of your friends. Not like you have a choice. You sent him the money? Uh-huh. I had some money. Some savings from when Dad passed away. I... <laughs> Guess I'm your daddy now. It's all right. What can we do? I'm going to be honest with you. It's unlikely we'll catch him. These sorts of crimes are hard to track, unless he does something dumb like post a photo online or something. And even then, it's hard to track them down. And that's not even considering the possibility that our friend's not even in the country, at which point we lose jurisdiction. Never going to catch me. <sighs> even reporting does nothing. Yes, but you did the right thing calling us. We will help in whatever way we can. I also recommend getting that computer of yours purged at an IT shop. Purged? Delete everything on it and reset it to factory settings. You might be able to do it yourself, but it's pretty complicated. And if I don't? The virus stays on the computer. He might take another photo of you and demand more money. I wouldn't do that. Well, can I at least take my photos off of my computer? I'm no expert in the actual process, but I doubt it. The virus could slip in with those photos and then you just have the same problem again. But you could try asking the experts. I could always send you your photos, your virus lace photos that I so lovingly downloaded, for a price, dear. What about my schoolwork? Stuff I have on the computer? Uh, I can sign something explaining your circumstances if you want and excusing you from them. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, one more thing. Do you have a sticky note? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here. Do you need a pen? Huh? Uh, oh, no. That should keep him from getting any more photos of you. Keep the camera covered at all times, or at least when it's not in use. That's easy enough to do. Well, if that's all, I'll be in touch. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Goodbye, Diana. Hello, Sarah. And send. The preceding program was brought to you by Defend, a volunteer-run, not-for-profit organization looking to reduce risks for children and vulnerable people online. 
Together, we can stop child predators, reduce scammers, online bullying, and more. Donate or learn more at HelpUsDefend.com. This episode stars Kurt, Mark, Jenna, and Anastasia. Executive producers, Nikita, Brian, Henry, Isio, Jason, and Jenna. Original music by Isio. Storyboards by Natalie. Animatics by Mark. Music under license from Artlist. Watch the animated version now on YouTube.